Hi, I'm going to show my path to the Volko Mosque. I got my first printer in late 2017. It was an Anycubic castle. It came with this type of V5 hotend. And the first hardware modification, it was to switch out the PTFE lined heat break. The thermistor placement seemed a little bit odd, so I drilled some new holes and I might have gained some flow, especially on longer extrusions. A more secure mounting of the thermistor was fixed with this type of V6 block. In the fall of 2018, I made my final print with Marlin and switched to Clipper for good. This demanded higher flow capabilities, so a Volcano was a logical step. A switch away from the glass bead thermistor to a cartridge style rendered installation of a PT100. And then I started to experiment with longer melt zones. The one on the left was never realized. And the 15 mm longer melt zone, it did wonders for high flow printing. A little too aggressive hot tightening were made and the threads in the block got busted. So a scrap piece of aluminum that got the perfect thickness came to the rescue. Some hacksawing, a little bit of drilling and tapping and a new block was born. And then the whole speed benchy thing started and my heat break, yeah, it broke right before Christmas. Then I decided that I needed a new hotend and the mosquito style seemed like a good candidate. But I was used to high flow. There weren't any good candidates except the super volcano. But heat breaks. Should I go back to simple extenders? Well, no. So I designed a new block for my new hotend. In this way I have use for my volcano nozzles and I have gained some flow. The choice of material was made due to easy machinability, lightweight and good enough heat transfer capabilities. My new block needs some protection and insulation. So some hours in CAD and a resin print later I got a mold and I could create a silicone sock. If you want to find out more about this block, just search for hashtag Volkomosk. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again 